This video is all about Archangel Ariel and three ways to connect with her. All right, so let's start off by talking about Archangel Ariel. She has such a beautiful, earthy energy. And connecting with Archangel Ariel really helps to ground us and to support us in coming back to our body and to support us with if we're all up in our head, overthinking, you know, not making any decisions, she helps to ground us down and to bring us back into the present moment. And connecting with Archangel Ariel can also be very supportive in your work if you are someone who works with animals or the environment. And so she has that earthly presence. And so that can support you in your connection with the earth or the earth's creatures. And so the first way to deepen your connection with Archangel Ariel specifically is through a meditative practice. This is something that she showed me as I was tuning in for this video and, you know, asking what's the most important things for me to share. And this is also something that I, I have personally experienced a lot when I feel her presence or when I connect with her is Archangel Ariel. She is associated in this visualization or meditative state to be in this, how I see it as like a tall grassy field and there's flowers. It's almost like these dainty little flowers and you might visualize it slightly differently, but that's kind of the essence, a space in nature that makes you feel at peace and at ease. And so in this tall grassy field, the way that I visualize it, the way that I've always been shown it is that there's this beautiful ray of sunlight. I can smell the fresh, clean air, and it just feels so beautiful and at peace here. And so that's the first way. So if you are someone who loves to meditate or you love to really go within with your inner vision, your third eye and visualize in that way, then taking yourself into that space where, like I said, tall grassy field, a meadow, these beautiful flowers, you know, just that space where it's very earthy. And, and the key thing here too, that I have found through my own experience <laughs> is that in this field or this meadow, it's like a place where I can lay down and it's almost like I'm here to absorb beneath me, the earth, and then above me, the sun that's shining down. So that's kind of the experience. And then Archangel Ariel is there. She shows up in that space. And in that space, when you're connected in that way, her guidance or her, even just simply her presence just feels like it's amplified. It feels like it's just got 10 times stronger and 10 times clearer because now you've taken yourself to a space where the connection with her is more direct versus just simply trying to connect with her while you're doing something or just, you know, sitting with your eyes open. So if you're someone who loves to visualize or meditate, then that is the first way that you can connect with her and just deepen your relationship, deepen your connection with Archangel Ariel. That is something that you can also do if, like I said, you are in need of grounding, you feel like you're all over the place. And you're like, I need Archangel Ariel to help me ground. You can take yourself to that meditative space and ask her to be there with you and then work with her energy to ground you, to support you, to clear out whatever thing, whatever the thing is that has been maybe taking you out or making you, making you feel disconnected. The other way that you can connect with Archangel Ariel is really simply going outside in nature. If you are someone who is able to go outside year round, whether it's in your backyard or whether you live somewhere close where you can, you know, maybe walk to the ocean or walk to a forest, or maybe you live right in the middle of a busy city and it's concrete everywhere, then taking yourself whenever you can out in nature is another great way to be in connection, not just with Archangel Ariel, but really with the earth and mother nature 
and being supported and nurtured in that way. And so when you're out in nature, whether, like I said, it's in your backyard or you're actually somewhere, you know, as at a specific space that are in your surroundings that really speak to you, what's important to understand here, what's important to do here in your connection with Archangel Ariel is it's, it's kind of like feeling like she's in within everything. So if let's say you are at the beach, then the sand, the ocean, the water, like everything that you see surrounding you, it's almost like feeling Archangel Ariel being in it all. If you are in the forest, then all the trees, the plants, the flowers, the dirt beneath your feet, Archangel Ariel exists within it all. So when you are in this more immersive space, with nature, what she's saying is she wants you to feel her presence in what you're sensing and feeling and experiencing all around you. So it's almost like the opposite in a way of what I just spoke about when you're going internally and visualizing within your mind's eye. Now you are actually using all of your senses, what you hear, what you smell, what you see, what you feel, like everything to actually experience Archangel Ariel in your surroundings, in the trees, in the ocean, in the mountain, in the flower, you know, whatever your surroundings are. But the point is that you are experiencing Archangel Ariel in all of it. And so that's her way of connecting with you if you're going to choose to go that way. And by the way, there's no wrong or right way. These are all just options for you to explore and maybe you try all of them and you see which one you like best or which one felt the best for you or, or, you know, it might change from time to time. So that's another way that you can connect with Archangel Ariel. And then the third way that she showed me is with Moonstone Mala Beads. I know, very specific. <laughs> and if you don't have Mala Beads, you can simply use a Moonstone but the mala beads, there's something about the intention behind the creation of mala beads and how you can hold them in your hand and how you can work with them in more of a prayer kind of way that kind of sets them apart. But like I said, there's no barrier here. There's no rules. You don't have to do that specifically if you want to tweak it a little bit to fit your current situation, your life, what you already have on hand, then by all means do that. If you happen to have Moonstone Mala Beads or if you happen to be wanting to get Moonstone Mala Beads, and this is a sign to get them because working with the Mala Beads, it's going to be a really great way for you to get into a state of prayer with Archangel Ariel. And it's it's the way that she's showing it to me is it's like it's like a prayer. It's like a commitment. It's like a almost like a ritual in a way where you are working with her, connecting with her presence specifically through this crystal to support you, to guide you, to nurture you, to have like a reset in your energy. And so that's when you're going to want to reach for the moonstone is when you need that just quick reset and to allow yourself to just kind of come back to your presence. When you feel like you've been spending your whole day helping this person, helping that person, you're helping everyone else but yourself. You haven't had time to even think about yourself. That's when you want to come back with the support of Archangel Ariel, with the support of the Moonstone and be present with yourself and then ask yourself, what nurturing do I need today? What do I need to experience? How am I, what are my support needs for today? And then give that to yourself. So those are th the three ways to connect with Archangel Ariel. And I wanted to share a bonus thing. It's not a way to connect with her, but it's actually her symbol or, you know, like a sign that Archangel Ariel will show you as the confirmation that she is with you, that she is around you. If you've been looking for a sign like Archangel Ariel, show me a sign, <laughs> confirm that you're here, please. Then the deer is the symbol that she's bringing forward for you to know that she is with you. So if you see a deer or hear the word deer, or you're reading your book and all of a sudden there's deers in the book or whatever it is, then that is the confirmation from Archangel Ariel. It's a wink from her saying, Hey, I'm here. I've got you. I'm supporting you. I'm with you. So that is the connection with Archangel Ariel. 
The last thing that I will share is, of course, if you've been following me with this series of Archangel videos, I am always sharing the visual of her energy through these Archangel Oracle cards. As you can see, she is here in this beautiful green and pinkish energy. That is how I see her presence. And so if you have this deck, then you can always simply connect through this card. And that's the beauty of this card deck, which is right here. If you have not seen it yet, you can go check it out. The link is in the description below this video. This is more than just giving you guidance. This is helping you to feel the presence of the angels on a deeper level. So there are 16 angel cards plus message cards in there. And it's just a beautiful way to meditate and be in the presence of the angels in this other tangible form. So I love this deck so much. Highly recommend that you get it and work with it if you want to deepen your connection to the angels. So I want to hear from you in the comments below. Let me know what is your favorite way to work with Archangel Ariel. Let me know which of these connection tips are you going to use to support you the next time you want to call on her. And if you have any questions, then post them in the comments below. If you want to continue to deepen your connection to the angels, then I highly recommend that you download my free guided meditation called Meet Your Angels. The link for that is below as well. Everything that you need, everything that you want to check out, you can always find it in the description below the video. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you know anyone who needs to hear this message today and deepen their connection to Archangel Ariel, please, please, please share this video with them. And then of course, subscribe to this channel so that you do not miss any future videos. Every Friday, I'm posting new Archangel videos. And I also have a podcast called the Divine Connection Podcast that I post in video format as well. And that is released on Wednesday. So you get a lot of amazing goodness here on this channel. So I cannot wait to connect with you. I am sending you so much love and angel blessings, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.